Different, but he's very useful. Well, who cares? You're just a little green caterpillar. They remind me of when you were 87546 and 98462. Who's 98462? Well, you see, he was an engine who was sent here around the same time I came to Sodor. He and Cecil were also very mean towards poor Edward and mocked me for having trouble getting steam up. He also boasted that he should have been the NWR's number 3 instead of him. But after an accident at the harbor, he told that if he kept it up, then he would have been sent packing. What happened to 98462 after that? When the munitions incident at Napford Harbor happened, he sacrificed himself by pushing a train of tankers that was on fire out of the yard. But they blew up, taking him with it. There's also another engine who kind of likes him called Afrid. He came along with Larry while Henry was at crew. He was named after Alfred Joyston of the London and Northwestern Railway, which made him very boastful. But however, he has changed his way after helping Gordon up the hill. I see. My driver told me Huguston was going to be working on Thomas's branch line while Louis getting repaired. I will make sure to keep him in order. Good luck, you'll need it. After Percy had finished his passenger train, he saw Hughes again at Tidmer Station. This time he was complaining to his driver. That dirty old coach? I won't. You have to do it. There are no other engines available at the moment. Oh, don't be so rough. But Hughes was too cross to listen. Whoa, holy crap, look out! Goodness me, he should be more careful next time. There could have been an accident. Dang, he's worse than I thought. Hughes trundled crossly along Thomas's branch line. But when he arrived at Ellsbridge Station, he was almost getting a lot worse. Where's About time you showed up. Before Henry could answer, Hughes darted off. having a terrible time and the passengers were given a really uncomfortable ride. 
because of all this, Hughes had gotten so cross that he stopped a few miles from Mayflake. What's the matter now? Forget your own station. I'm staying here. Looks like I'll have to see if there's another engine to help finish this job. Eh, what's up, pal? I've just been informed that Hughes has stopped our son of Mayfield Station and is refusing to go any further. And I'm also not surprised that the passengers are grumbling. I'll go and help! After the scene that I was coupled up to Hughes. with Hughes and his carelessness. He was also very rude towards the other engines and he stopped outside of Mayflow because he got fed up of hearing the passengers grumbling. So Percy had to come and take over while Hughes had to take Percy's truck for him. Well, at least it would teach him a lesson to be more careful next time. It will, along with not to bounce with your passengers around like peas in a frying pan. Also, thank you Percy for looking after her while Hughes was pulling your trucks. You're welcome, my friend. After Hughes had finished his work, he went back to the sheds, knowing that it would have taught him a lesson to not lock coaches around, nor treat them like trucks. He now felt like a very silly engine indeed. <laughs> 